Hi everyone, welcome and thank you for being here. This is an unboxing of a different kind. I appreciate your time and to make sure that I don't waste your time, I'm going to be leaving timestamps of everything that I talk about in this video because it's not just an unboxing as such from a smart mic that I've been eyeing up for many, many months now, but it's also a massive thank you to everybody that has used the thanks button underneath the videos and sent me a donation which helps me so so much and i did promise i would not buy any orchids and i would spend it wisely so i haven't bought any orchids whether i've spent your donations wisely will remain to be seen for the future because i have plans for my channels moving forward and I need something a little bit more professional, something that provides a better sound quality that isn't always fighting with the wind. So yes, timestamps in the description below. I will be unboxing a smart mic that I bought thanks to you that have donated using the thanks button. I cannot tell you how happy I am, how grateful I am, and how nervous I am at this point in time to bring this little unboxing video to you because I'm hoping that this mic is going to do exactly what I need it to do moving forward. And for that reason, I am nervous. This is not a promoted video. This is not something that I got from the company and I am supposed to do an unboxing and a review. This is a personal purchase based on your donations. So once again, thank you very much for making this possible. Now I am nervous because I'm hoping that I did get it right with this mic, because what I want to do in this video, not just unbox, I also want to pair it to an Android phone as well as an iPhone, because those are gonna be my needs, not exclusively, but they will be my needs moving forward with what I plan on content for this channel. So let's get into unboxing this get my nerves out of the way and do it right. One thing I am going to add though is I have been in touch with this company, Zabine Tech. I call it Zabine Tech. Zabine is a German name, so Zabine Tech. I have been in touch with them just to make sure that it is okay for me to review their product, even though they didn't send this to me directly. So I didn't want to overstep any boundaries. So I am reviewing this as a private purchase individual, but there is a link in the description from here on in every single video that I will be using this mic. And yes, if you decide to purchase via that link, I will be getting a little bit of a commission from anything you buy moving forward from this company. So as this purchase is private, Whatever happens in future based on the link in the description, that yes, I will be earning a little commission. All right, let's get that out of the way. Now, the box itself comes very much what you would consider like an Apple product, but it's not an Apple product. And it says that it is compatible with Apple and Android. That is important, but it has the same feel. So it has a little film all around it, which I already sliced open just to save time. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this. And I hope that my excitement will actually be justified. And again, as it is a donation from all of you, I'm also a bit nervous that I'd made the right choice and the right decision so that I can actually do better quality audio content moving forward with what I am planning for the channel. It's quite tight fit here, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take my time, I'm not gonna rush this because when I get nervous, apprehensive, things go wrong very quickly. <laughs> so here it is, little latch. These come in black and white. Unfortunately, the company that I bought it from, the wholesaler, they didn't have it in black, but they come in black and white. I wasn't gonna wait for a black option I wanted to get this going straight away. So here we are, we've got the little microphone. And then in here, this is really like an Apple unboxing, it feels like, even though it is not, but the whole thing has the same feel. Got ourselves a little dead cat. <laughs> Wind foam, which is great. And 
this is me being able then to hear what the sound, the audio is like and hopefully intervene on time. That's great. I don't have that option at the moment. Charger and just the foam cover for indoor regular use. This is also very good because I wanted to start with doing some proper voiceovers without cables going everywhere. So what I'm going to do now is get my Apple device and pair it with the microphone. It has not been charged, so I don't know if that's going to happen immediately or if I have to charge it and I'll be back. Either way, let's get the Apple phone. If you're going to stick around until the end, I'm going to show you what I've been working with up to now, and that is not acceptable for what I'm planning in future. So I haven't read any instructions. I'm not a guru here. I, I'm just going to go by the simplicity of what I've been researching online. So that's the on off button. And a little blue light starts to blink. And it took no time to find it. And they're connected. Now there is an app. We are going to download that app. Once we've installed this app, this is the app that has to be opened for recording and filming. Right, so there's an update that we need to do and we'll deal with that straight away. And I'll be back when the update has finished. Okay, so now you see that the mic is actually charging but blinking between blue and red and that is because it is not connected. So I've upgraded the app software and now I'm going to connect the smart mic to the Apple device and you can see as it charges the light remains red and then changes to blue every once in a while because the mic is now connected. All that is in place now with regards to the Apple device. I'm gonna now switch over to the Android device and do the same thing. This is like an infinity mirror. I am now filming on the Android device using the smart mic, not using the dead cat. I don't have any wind today. So let's have a look. This app is pretty comprehensive, which I have as yet to all deal with. There are lots and lots of different configurations and you have to film via the Smart Mic Plus app in order to get the sound connected. The only thing is, well, I'm going to change these configurations, of course, but the only thing is, Apple being Apple, you can't just get it without having to buy another little doohickey. And this is an eight pin connector adapter because Android has a connector this side, <laughs> on this side of the device where I can put the little headphone in to control the sound. But Apple, of course, doesn't. And that is why I had to invest in this little eight pin connector, which of course, I might have to cut open. I hate cutting open bags. There has to be an easier way. But I used this brand here and I didn't go with an Apple brand because it's much cheaper. So let me figure out how I get into this fantastic bag here, which is super <laughs> sealed. And I will just show you that this is necessary in order to connect the headphone to an Apple device. Apple is Apple. Okay, so let's do this. Now, in the coming videos from here on in, as I mentioned, I am going to have the link to this product in the description. And yes, if you do purchase anything from Zabine Tech, I will benefit with a small commission. However, all my future videos will also now have at the beginning a little bit of a tagline to say, what am I using? Am I using my old microphone or am I using the Apple device with the smart mic or the Android device with the smart mic? 
So again, Apple, you need that eight pin connector. This brand is much, much cheaper than the Apple version. So I got that one, but it's worked. It's Apple certified. Right, so we've got that done. Clearly I am recording now from the Android device and I will continue to do so for the foreseeable future until I've figured the two devices out and how they can work with each other. Sabina Tech also has a kit that has two microphones which could then pair one device with the other and it all gets extremely, extremely technical for something that is so tiny. This is my point. We are going on a few adventures. This is my plan for the future. And for that reason, I need something that is around my neck with clear, precise sound that doesn't look like I'm about to strangle myself. Yes, this is what I've been working with before. I bought a lavalier mic and I thought I could just clip it on. But Nina being Nina, I get the one that's pointing in the wrong direction. So I fandangled myself a little neck brace that was always around my neck at the right distance as best as possible with a mic pointing to my mouth. And then you know from my past videos, the amount of interference I've had with the wind, how many times have I said I'm not facing away from the camera because I'm protecting the mic. I am really, really hoping that from here on in, using the Smart Mic Plus is going to stop me constantly apologizing. What I cannot change is the noise beyond the hedge, but what I'm hoping to change is the audio quality, crispness, and no more interference. Seeing as I'm using the app in order to record, I'm hoping that the camera quality will maintain the same, but all of that is for future reference. I will hopefully get your feedback. I am sorry if this video didn't turn out to be the fantastic unboxing that you are used to. I do much, much better with orchids than I do with tech stuff, especially when I'm trying to record and document what I'm doing while also trying to say thank you and do your donations justice. So all of this accumulated in my head I hope that everything in the end is going to work out just the way I planned. That is the main goal. Thank you for your patience with me. Thank you so much for your thanks. I really appreciate it. I cannot express that enough. Your time is also appreciated. And well, let's see where this little mic takes us. Have yourselves a beautiful day, please, on one condition that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.